This is your teacher for today, Teacher Marge. Today, we are going to discuss about friction. But before that, let us have our objective for today. First, let us demonstrate understanding of how friction affects the movement of objects. Second, identify the different types of friction. Now, what is friction? Friction is the resistance to the sliding, rolling, or flowing motion of an object due to its contact with another object. When a moving object comes in contact with another object, Friction is the opposing force that slows or stops the moving object. Without friction, an object would continue to move at a constant speed forever. The strength of the force of friction depends on the type of surfaces and how hard the surfaces push together. Rough surfaces produce greater friction than smooth surfaces. Without friction, you could not ride, drive a car, or fly an airplane. Why not? Now let us find out. Let us have the four types of friction. Number one, rolling friction. Second, we have static friction, the sliding friction, and the fluid friction. Let us discuss one by one. What do all these things have in common? Again, what do all these things have in common? Okay, yes, they are all rolling. Now, let us discuss the first type of friction, which is the rolling friction. Rolling friction is friction that occurs between surfaces in motion, in which one of the surfaces is a wheel, roller, or a ball. So here are some examples of rolling friction. Riding a bike, which is the tires and the ground. The surface of the tires and the surface of the ground attracts together. And the rolling, which is the ball and the lane. Okay? So, let me show to you another, another example of rolling friction. Okay. Now, let us observe another picture here. What do all these things have in common? Again, what do all these things have in common? Right, those pictures are not moving. So therefore, if they are not moving, we can classify it as static friction. Wherein, static friction is friction that occurs when the surfaces in contact are at rest or not in motion. We need to say it is not moving. For example, a book resting on a desk and a potted plant sitting on a sidewalk. So these are some examples of static friction. Now I have here another pictures. What do all these objects have in common? Again, what do all these objects have in common? Right, those pictures or those objects are uh, sliding. The objects are sliding. So therefore, we have the third types of friction, which is the sliding friction. Wherein sliding friction is friction that occurs when solid surfaces slide over one another. So one solid surface will slide over one another. For example, Writing, where in the pencil point and the paper slide with one another. Combing your hair, where in the surface of the comb and strands of the hair. Okay, and here are other examples of sliding pictures. Next, another set of pictures are here. What do all these things have in common? Again, what do all these things have in common? Yes, the other picture are flying and the other one is swimming. Therefore, we can classify it as fluid friction. Okay? What is fluid friction? When the force that tries to slow objects down when they move through a liquid or a gas, it is also known as drag or air resistance. 
all gases and liquids are fluids. Again, all gases and liquids are fluids. An airplane and a swimmer both experience fluid friction. Okay, so, so meaning to say, there is an airplane, that is an example of fluid friction. If there is a swimmer, that is an example of fluid friction. So, it is combination, it is therefore, all gases and liquids are fluid friction, considered as fluid friction. Okay, now how do we reduce friction? Is there other way on how to reduce friction? Yes, of course. Number one, smooth the surface. As we all know, if the surface is smooth, we can reduce friction. Wherein, if the surface is rough, there are greater friction. Another one is replace sliding with rolling. Okay? We are going to, instead of sliding some object, use a rolling object in order for you to reduce the friction, to move freely. Okay? And the last is add oil or another type of lubricant. Okay? So those are the three ways on how to reduce friction. Again, class, what are the four types of friction? Yes, we have rolling friction, static friction, sliding friction, and fluid friction. Now that you already know what are the different types of friction and what is friction all about, let us have some exercises. Class, I prepared different kinds of pictures here that pertains to the different types of friction. Now, before that, everybody get one whole sheet of paper and a ball pen. So, I will show the different pictures and you are going to identify what type of friction it is. Now, I will give five seconds for every pictures. Are you ready? Let us begin. You're right. The first picture is static friction. Now let us have the second picture. Can you identify this picture? What types of friction is it? Yes, we have the rolling friction. Very good. Okay, for the third picture, what type of friction is this? Okay, very good. We have the fluid friction. Let us have another picture. Okay, identify what type of friction shown in the picture. Yes, you are right. This is another example of static friction. Okay, again, once more, another example of or another picture that shown the type of friction. Okay, what type of friction is this? Okay, very good. The answer is sliding friction. For our last picture, everybody look at the picture. What type of friction is this? Very good. This is an example of fluid friction. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from me today. Until next time, this is your teacher Marge saying goodbye. See ya!